Welcome back to Trans Win Rune 2. Welcome back! It took us about three hours to get to this point because playing co-op in Rune 2, while it's far better with friends, is a lot of extra work getting it running. So hopefully they improve on that in the future. We also had to recreate our characters, so they may be a little different than you remember. What's my button for dancing moves? Um, Alt. Alt? Yeah, I, I rebound our keys, so uh, here's dancing. I wanted to dance while she was talking. Okay, so she wants us to go through the dungeon. Just so you know, you can dance and walk. I'm a floating hammer. Oh, I see. I am ready. Yeah. That is a big drop. I was a bad guy. Uh, I'll drop a bow for you. I think you already have a helmet. I thought I saw it, now I don't see it. Well, the bow is gone then, if you don't know where it is. No, like I saw it flash and I was about to the button and now I don't see it. Alright, well, um, uh, I hope you enjoy your bow. I will. You are now inside Skadi's cavern. This dungeon will offer fast passage to the Divine Summit. But more importantly, it will allow you to test your new abilities. If you apply the right skills and have trained in them properly, the Draugr should be easy to defeat. Show me how it's done. So one thing I've noticed is all the games I'm doing right now, from Dismantled to Bridge Constructor The Walking Dead and Rune, they are all games with that they use all capital letters and they all have zombies in it. In this game, the zombies are Draugr. Okay, I found a mace. I'm gonna try dropping on an even ground for you. Assuming it's the same as one that- yeah. Here's a mace. Got it. Good. I thought it fell through the earth. Yeah, it looked like it was going to. Okay. Um, yeah, that mace should be better, because your your hammer should be doing 27, that mace will do 44. Uh, I'm not level 4, I can't touch this. It's still hammer time. Oh, now I leveled up. I will wait till the end of the battle to put on my base, out of respect. Okay, let me know when you're done, so, so I'll move on. You're an arrow. It is now mace time. Okay, this way. You will on a locust. I'm just sweeping up the stuff, I'm not really paying attention to what I'm picking up. One of the things we discovered is that player 2, or co-op players, do not get rewards from quests, whether it's a recipe for raft, man uh, fur mantles, and experience. So that's why, that's why my teammate is behind an experience, because it does seem that we share experience from kills. Since I will also be the one, only one getting all the recipes from the quests, I'll generally be the one also collecting all the materials. You think perhaps when I get that range warning, then I won't get XP for what you're doing? Oh, maybe. Yeah, so I, I, one of the things, when we were replaying this section, uh, we had to replay Newbie Island and everything. While we were getting set up, the second player wandered far away and then we wanted to see what happened after the 10 seconds and nothing. Nothing happened, but maybe it just doesn't have on Newbie Island. We don't know. We haven't found uh, out yet. Oh, there you are. Yeah. So on the next two jumps, you can get yourself killed, so I'd be careful. I'd, 
Um, I have managed to successfully jump past this, but it's, it's safer just to jump this way. As you know, I'm not good at jumping in yeah. games. I forgot I could run. Okay, well, be careful about hopping off to your death in this one, this area. So, like, if you're strafing, you can strafe off a cliff. Uh, the, way, the way we both have it set up is by double tapping an option. We could end, like if I chase that cloth scrap by tapping W just an inch forward, I can end up hurdling myself off. This is a jump. Oh, that was <laughs> close! Wow. Glad we're in land now. Or surrounded land. So this next section is an important moment in your Viking's life. Uh, you will decide on a god. Is that what these stones are? I shouldn't just go touch these? You might as well wait, um, just for the moment. I'll explain that in a little bit. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to go and talk to her. And she'll explain a little bit, but nothing uh, game mechanic-wise for us as players. But let's go ahead. Welcome to the Divine Summit. Here stand the statues of Thor, Odin, and Hel. If you wish, you can devote yourself to one of these gods and receive their blessings. Or you can remain a heathen and walk your own path. Remember, warrior, these gods are demanding. If you pledge yourself to one, you must be prepared to honor that decision. You may do so at any time. Alright, so let's inspect the Shrine of Thor by standing on it, but don't press any buttons. I'm just go and stand on it. Thor. God of Thunder. Disciples of Thor can output very high area of effect damage. His emphasis on lightning based crowd control related combat skills is not for the uncertain. As conversely, Thor's offers Thor's offers no survivability skills. Then we gotta look at the shrine to Hell. Hell, Queen of the Dead. Hells empowers her assassins to strike for strike hard, steal the very life force from their enemies, then vanish into the shadows. Or if no shadows are available, get the hell out of there in a hurry. Odin, the Allfather. The Allfather blesses all those who fight by his side. Thus, warriors who pledge allegiance to Odin are gifted with the ability to pass his blessings on to others, supporting and buffing their teammates and allies alike. That sounds lame. <laughs> now, Wolf, it seems another problem has arisen. My spies delivered news that the bandit Lord Hawken has been seen nearby. It is crucial that he and his men do not find our remnant village. Please head him off, and dispose of his forces swiftly. Then return to me. We will not be safe until they are eliminated. Alright, so which of the gods do you feel like following? Obviously Thor, because he's the only cool one. Then I can say cool stuff like by Thor's hammer and things as I run around and smash stuff. Okay, uh, go ahead and go, ahead and go, uh, go to Thor. Uh, you'll, you'll stand on his red thing. Okay. Stand on the red thing. Okay. Oh, are, are you? It's a okay, well on my on my screen you're not. Okay. okay, so go ahead and hold F because I've rebound your keys. Okay. Until the bar fills up. It feels slow, like it's not sure it wants to commit. Yeah, on my screen you're just standing there, but on your screen you're kneeling. Whoa. And yeah, on her screen she's flying. <laughs> I'm receiving the power of Uh, 
there's a thing that just appeared in front of me, a divine chest. Do I open it? Yeah, I don't even see it on mine, but yeah, go ahead. Tell me what you get. Did I press F yeah. also? Yeah. Rune of Berserking. And Rune of Valve. Okay, go and pick those up. Okay, for a divine chest, I thought this would be something like a little more epic. No, no. You know, you actually got good stuff because normally I get stuff like Rusty Axe. I really do. Out uh, of a divine chest? Yeah. That's pitiful. All right, so I, I have played um, during the week. Uh, between co-op missions, I have played through the game several times to try to figure things out because I don't want to wander around. This is a giant open world game here, and I don't want to end up wandering around making it 50, 100 episodes. So I have experience in all the, all the gods. I will say that I believe you chose wisely. Out of all the gods, my advertisement is for Thor. What I'm going to do though, and it probably won't even see fruition in our playthrough, but it'll make it harder for a veteran like me. I'm going to be a heathen. It's not a choice I would recommend for anybody. Uh, the reason why is when you worship a god, you get passive stat bonuses. For example, Thor will give you Berserk Time uh, as his bonus. So you will you, you will get uh, more seconds in Berserk mode, which is great because you can just stay in Berserk mode for like an entire battle. He also gets, unique to him, um, Fire Resistance and Hammer Damage. Hell gets axe damage, uh, poison resistance, and very lamely, ship speed. Wow. So does this mean if I light myself on fire, just accidentally walking through the campfire, it will hurt less? It'll hurt less, but uh, th this is not actually a percentage. So you can have 100 fire resistance, and you can still get killed by fire. It's not a it's not a percentage. Okay, but it's still better, since I have maybe possibly walked through a couple of fires yeah. accidentally. Odin, he gives you... Let me think here. He gives you frost resistance... Spears, which there's no, there's no, at the current version of the game, there's no uh, super spear. There's no Odin spear. <laughs> I told you he was lame. <laughs> and let me think here. What else is there? He gets stamina recovery, which is also very awful. It's not even fast enough to shoot a bow. So in this game, currently in the version, I can swing all the time and it will not cost me any stamina. Dodging, of course, takes stamina. But however, taking your bow out and is just, uh, Aiming takes so much stamina, comparatively. You can see the green bar on my screen just disappearing rapidly. And now my character loosed the arrow because he couldn't hold it anymore. <laughs> so even even as a an Odin character, you cannot be a bow marksman. The only way to actually be a bow user in this game is to level up the, the basic... This is what I call the basic tree right here. And level this up to max and you will never use stamina again. But yeah, Odin gets stamina recovery. Thor gets berserk time. In addition to that, Thor gets more health than anybody else. Odin gets like, let's say, 350 health, 400 health, something like that. Hell gets a total of maybe 250, 350 health at level 50. And Thor gets 700 health at level 50. And look at my hammer! I mean, look how cool I am! Yeah, your character will get a passive bonus to hammers as they level as, as you level up, and, you're, and whenever you touch a lower stone, you get 25 XP. Well, the reason why I said to wait is so that way, if you did level up, you'd see your bonuses. So go ahead and touch all the lower stones now. Okay. Now, I will say that the, the game is generous and that it does not uh, cheat you of, of levels. So let me explain that in a minute. So what you typically might want to do is you will not see any god bonuses until level 5. If you come here earlier, like level 2, and level up, you will not see any bonuses. Uh, once you hit level 5, you start seeing bonuses. Now, I didn't get any bonuses here. And in the, again, in the current version of the game, when I worship Thor later, I will get all the bonuses. I just either have to level up once, or if I max level, just log out and log back in. And I will become, I will get all the Thor bonuses, which is like the passive fire resistance, the passive hammer damage bonus, the berserk time, all the health. I will get all the Thor bonuses. The reason I'm not doing it now is, is twofold. Um, one, I will be able to access the higher level of the heathen tree. And then, as long as I never reset skills, I can combine that with the higher level of the Thor tree. Now, it's not really that useful because you can totally finish the game very easily with, with, with the Thor tree and what little you can get in the Heathen tree. But I'm going to go ahead and max it out. We probably won't see that come to fruition in this game because we will probably finish the game before 50. But that being said, this is, this is how I build the Uber character. Also, by the end of the game, you, you will have uh, at 20, 20, 20, and 3 if you choose to max out your stats. So I decided I will have at least 3 in Constitution and max out these 3 stats here. You'll notice that I cannot spend the dexterity. That's because I'm wearing this white fur mantle. I need to unequip that, and now I can boost that. Do I need to attune to this gate or no? Uh, no, I wouldn't bother because we're not really coming back to this island. And there were three stones, right? I felt like there were more. Yeah, there were three lower stones. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, I get tribute. Yeah, you, yeah you, she, she, NPCs will just randomly give you low level stuff. So you know I'm getting credit for the warrior harvesting? For your quest? Yes. Got one. Okay, there's another lower stone over here. Some ore there, but we don't have to mine every ore. There's a chest. Or we could. Actually, since we just left the dungeon, after we touch this lower stone, uh, I'm, I haven't sorted through my gear yet. The, the, our gear. Let's take a look at it. For the sake of things, I'm, we're, I'm going to go ahead and tell the viewers that I'm just going to have all the best gear equipped as not only the host, but it, since I'm more familiar with the game, I can just manage it. So, for example, I have a good idea what our what Kari has. Um, like her boots are probably not as good as this. I'll go ahead and drop that for her. So anything I drop, feel free to take and then salvage if you don't like it. So yeah, I, I'm familiar enough with the game where I can easily make decisions about the equipment. If you don't like that, you can just salvage it. Okay, that's it. We didn't get too much through that. You could you could end up taking like five, ten minutes just searching through our stuff that we got in the dungeon, but but I I, I know what to get rid of. Let's want to explore this island a little bit. I'm still putting stuff on. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Wow, is that- no, that's not you, that's the quest. I thought you ran really far. Uh, earlier in the previous video, I, saw, I said that my bow wasn't doing any damage. Apparently you have to equip the arrows manually, and if you log out, which I believe we did, because you can see now that uh, it says here, press E to mount or dismount a ship. I logged out last time in order to get rid of that pop-up. Uh, but when you log back in the game, you're, you're not equipped with arrows anymore, so at the time I thought I had arrows equipped. Now I have like three or four arrows and I can shoot them. So if there's a bear, we, I can actually shoot it from afar. There's generally a bear to the right. I just stepped on a lizard. I didn't know you could do that. They, they run around wild? Yeah, yeah, I've seen them before. Uh, there's I just a, thought people were dropping. Okay, well, there's a bear right there. Let's, uh, see, let's see what you get. Dwarf is level six, I'm concerned. Alright. Oh yeah, the oh, game the game level scales. I don't like it. I, I think it's not intended, however. Because I've noticed on the Steam forums, people are saying like, it doesn't matter if they're in the level 10 area, enemies are like level 50, and it's really obnoxious for the player. So, it, 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 since I will get more experience than Kari will, um, enemies will be higher level than her. Let's back up. Bear's down. I'm down. Not dead, but hurt. Alright, so I also bound our keys, I said. Here's how here's how I bound them. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, sorry. Um, T H Tilde. Or Tilde. Uh, my skills are Z, X, C, and V. I found that this setup is most beneficial for playing the game, so if I want to heal, I can just tap whatever is on my skill bar, instead of having like shift F1 or shift one or something. As well as since this is heal, I just have to hit H. Like that. How do I see my health bar when I'm just standing? I thought uh, I if you don't see your health bar, you're probably full health. Oh, okay. Alright, so I shot the bear, so he's dead somewhere over here. He doesn't drop a pelt, just a hide. So there's a couple lore stones on this island. I will I've offer this advice to any people who choose to play Rune 2. Uh, kill as many dwarves you can <laughs> before that you progress the game. Uh, if you find dwarves, try to kill enough to get five dwarf blood. You you will find a harder time getting dwarf blood later in the game if you know. I 
thought that white rock up there was a polar bear for a second. Wait, east layer? Okay. Equip my shield? No, oh, I must have equipped my shield at some point. It's a statue of my dude! Yeah, it is. Hi, friend. If I stand here, he'll, like, bestow me with some powers. No. Nope. What if I dance? What ho, warrior! Welcome to our village. I am Radmir, the local miner. I hear you have been helping some from other villages to craft items that could be useful in certain situations. Just between you and I, I could use a love charm to help with the females here. They rebuff my advances and play hard to get, but I think I have found a way to win them over. Have you heard of Odin's ring, Dravni? It duplicates itself, giving him limitless income. Where I will be able to make such a thing, I'd surely have them crawling all over me, begging for my attention. I've yet to figure out how to actually do that, but I think I may be able to craft something to help with my fatigue. I'll have more to sell and more coin in my pocket. People like us know females are all attracted to wealth. So, warrior, here's what I need you to do. Mine 20 gold ore for me, please. One really, cool, one really cool thing about the NPCs in this game is that they tell you which god they worship. So by looking at him, he's got a hammer, which indicates he worships Thor. I like that touch. Does everybody in this Thor town worship Thor, though? Probably. Yeah, I can't build this either. Sometimes it happens. You just have to back off and try again later. Uh, don't get yourself stuck in any building, though. So if it looks like a flat ground... Don't, don't, don't activate it when you or someone else is in there. So these little huts here are generally breweries, and you can find more mead there. For low-level characters like us, mead is a good use, good tool for getting health back. They wouldn't be gone this long. They wouldn't leave me. Oh, hello there, stranger. No, no, I'm alright. Well, I think I am at least. Now that you mention it, I am pretty hungry. My son and the other four worshippers left to get provisions for our village, but they haven't returned. I can't seem to remember when that was. If you have any food to spare, it would be greatly appreciated. I'm not sure when my son will return. Alright, I gotta find a campfire. I just stepped on a lizard right in front of him. Now I just need to cook it. Mm. Oh, there's a wet stone in here, too. Yeah, anything with a head. You were the one who noticed that last game. Say, so is there any chance I could have a bite of that? I can't remember the last time I ate. Do you know my son? He and the other Thor worshippers left to get provisions for our village, but they haven't returned. When was that? A hammer. Uh, here, I'll drop this for you. It's level 16, so you, it's going to be a long while before you get to use it. Is there anything else here? It doesn't look like it. You find a cooking fire? Because a lot of these things I can't. Yeah, cook on. yeah, it's over here. In here. Thanks. Oh, 
Ready? Yeah. Hammer time. I can say that because I'm Thor now. You're not Thor. I am pretty much Thor. Alright, alright. Let's try to build this thing. Let me back off so I don't get stuck. There we go. And there was a brewery, like, right here. Woo! Oh, I'm... I thought it was over there. Sorry. Alright, well, I guess... I guess I gotta pop out and back in. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought it was a spot over here you were looking at. It's it's alright. I, I I may have been the one to build it anyway. Yeah, let's, I'll pop out and back in. Oh cool, I don't know if that means that you're a Thor worshipper, but uh, the icon by your name is red, and I don't remember what it was before. Probably wasn't red. I'd have noticed it at the time. So, because I had to log back out, we are back in town, which is fine, because it's closer to our objective, but I was not gonna explore this region right here. It's alright though, we are closer to our objective, so that works out. Before we run off, we got a quest that I don't know, uh, we got a quest to build a bow for the hunter, for a house that we built in that direction. I'm gonna go ahead and build this bow, and give it to Kari. Why is not here? Alright, hopefully you will be able to pick this bow up. Do you already have a bow by any chance? If not, just take I this. I will look. Just take that and drop it in the slot three. Ooh, arrows left. So, so now that we've re-logged in, we have to re-equip our arrows, by the way. I've only got two wooden arrows, so I need to find more. Uh, actually, one of my favorite ways to get wooden arrows is just stand in front of some archers and block the arrows until I get enough. Because uh, it takes so much wood to get an arrow. Oh, by, by the way, speaking of which, uh, players who are following along, you should definitely hit this ore every time you come into town. It's an obsidian ore. All right, so we're gonna go and get we're gonna go and get some ore, uh, some arrows. We're gonna run over to a nearby bandit camp. Oh, there's a boar in town. Might be to catch some arrows off of it. What is that? Blood! Blood is good, because it lets you build runes. In fact, uh, why don't we go ahead... Uh, give me all the blood you have. Trying to kill me? So one of the... Go ahead, while you're dropping. So one of the things is, because Kari does not get recipes, she does not have, I assume, rune recipes, so I will build runes for us. Very convenient when then he drops his blood, it's in a container already. Well, for example, I if you look at this, see if you have rune of health and rune of teleport on this thing. I do not. Yeah. What I really need is tainted blood, but I also need that for a quest, so I don't want to use it yet. Tainted blood would be the most valuable. Tainted blood will allow us to build runes of teleport, and animal blood will allow us to build health runes. Both are very valuable to our to making a smooth playthrough. So any blood that you find that we should consolidate, feel free to drop it towards me. Do you have any tainted blood? No. Okay, let's get going. But yeah, I'll have to build all the runes for us, and that's okay. Dude's getting shot. Is oh, got by her. There's a tainted blood right there. Take long. This is not this is not the way I want to go. I'll make a marker. There's a bandit camp somewhere around here. There's two towers that you, I don't think you can kill the archers. You can just kill the building they're in, which will dispose of the archers. But um, yeah, the wooden, building arrows is so expensive because it takes a five wooden pieces to build a stack of five wooden arrows. A tree gives you like two to three wooden pieces. You, you have to also wait for it to chop down and then go and pick it up. Meat! Oh, I... Oh, it's a whole like... That was a flock. It's not a flock. I got them all! Oh. Alright, so this is the bandit camp. I, I call it a bandit camp because th those towers will always shoot at you.
just idling while enemy archers shoot at you is, is for me the easiest way to collect arrows. Like this is faster than chopping down trees. That being said, we should kill the melee guys that are on the on us. Oh, I don't want us to kill archers yet. one thinking that was my skills, but it's not anymore. Alright, I'll check that in a minute. Kill these archers. Okay. Feel free to pull any arrows out of you, by the way. So if, you, if they're stuck in you, you can collect them for arrows. Alright, so hold tab and see if your mace still exists. Oh, it does. I just unequipped it. Okay, good. Yeah, one is your mace. Remember, Z is your skill. Ooh, there's a lot of arrows. It's stuck in you? No, like, there's like a trail of them, like, it's leading me to a trap. When you see deer, feel free to shoot them for the for the quest. So a previous version of the game, not one that I've played, uh, players can only make progress by shooting bears to death. Wow. I don't think it was intended. It made it, made it sound like people were not expecting or able to do that very easily. Well, they, they were. They just weren't supposed to be that way. Yeah, I'm gonna go and smash this. Don't be, be very careful about looting in the city, by the way, because you can spend wood to repair the bandit stuff. Oh, wow. Yeah, so looting is the same button as repairing. So. so if you kill anybody, maybe don't kill them next to a building. We don't have to blow up everything. I would just blow up the towers and then leave the rest alone. This stuff, as far as I know, just respawns anyways when you log back, log out back in. Yeah, I got I, the stone. Yeah, I, I just like to take down the towers so they stop shooting you. Is this a green bandit? Is that special? No, that just means he's low level. Oh. Enemies that spawn during the gameplay spawn of the level appropriate for the area, so like he's gonna spawn level 1 or 2, because this is a level 1 to 10 area. But if I came back to level 30, everybody else would be level 30. Except for the ones that spawn during the time. So he's gonna spawn right here, every time. He's gonna be like level 2 every time. Uh, there's one more bandit inside the tower, and a chest. I'm gonna go ahead and go in and get him. This bandit likes to just fall down on you, but he's, he's literally on that platform next to the chest. He likes to fall down as you're climbing the stairs. Would I die if I fell from this? Yes. Okay, I'm going back down. You can get him. Oh! Hi! Oh! Hello! What do you want? So we have our arrows, now we should hunt some deer. I know I just slaughtered a bunch of them, but that, that doesn't count towards our quest. So when we find deer, we just need to shoot them. Here's some deer up ahead. I have 18 arrows now. You just have to equip the arrows somehow? Yep, go to in your inventory. Wherever it is, it might be in your radio menu. Oh, okay, I see yep. wooden arrow. Yep, and then just left click it. Oh, it's already equipped. That's good. All right, we've we've completed the quest. Yeah, I came in with two arrows. I left with eighteen. So, so getting shot by arrows is the Viking way to get your arsenal. I think there's archers behind me, but I want to loot this. You don't? Do you see him? Yeah, I see him. I just want to switch my mace. Oh, okay. I was wait I was, I was wondering because I didn't want to start hitting him because I didn't want to knock a tree on you. Oh, thanks. Yeah. 
Do trees respawn? Yes. Every, everything respawns. This area here is good for mining. So I, I lag pretty hard approaching the town. And this is also, unfortunately, the reason why in town during episode one, there's a couple corrupted or not recorded well sections. So after we're done with the town, I'm actually going to restart the recording just to make sure that everything goes well. Future recordings, even if the town is not. Yeah, but the, the town lags pretty bad for me. There's some easy stuff to loot here, but there, it's never really anything good. It's always going to be rusty gear, but it's good for salvaging, if nothing else. You get used to it. I'm not even reading them, because I know they're all crap. I like to have my gear lined up at the bottom in order of this. So, for example, the accessory will be here. Boots, leggings, armor, helm, wrists, cape. So I can easily compare because there's no comparison window, so I have to hover over them like this. I can see that my current braces are better. Let's see, while we're at it, let's go ahead and see if there's anything to craft for the group. Not really. Um, I don't even have pelts, so I can't craft another cape. I could craft some basic leather armor, but that's not really worth our leather scraps, so I guess we're fine. Yeah, as a heathen, I'm actually going to be inferior in stats to Kari for now. But once I hit 49, I think, maybe 45, I I, sh I, I will have skills skills from both sets, so both Thor and heathen. Night is hunting. Thank you for supporting the library. And thanks for keeping this between us. I need a bit of a reputation boost after my last hunting party accident. Let's just say some unfortunate arrows were loosed. Though, honestly, who gives up on hunting just because they take an arrow to the knee? Tis not very brave, I think. The gods gave you two legs, just use the other. All right, yes. I shot a couple people in the arse, but in my defense, they were but flesh wounds. Mostly, except that one time. I digress. Oh, do not feel pity, warrior. I'm as fast as a deer, silent as the night, and like hell enraged with a blade when the need arises. Brynia gets all the meat she needs from me. If only she knew how to cook with it better. One of the cool things I like about the game is the music lowers in volume when the characters start speaking. Not all games do that. That's, that's a nice touch. So let's see, what other side quests do we have? We need we need to get the Tainted Blood, which we had done in the previous playthrough, but not this one. Press bit ore, or bite, I don't know. Only gold ore, which is going to take a while to get, but the Blood Sacrifice, or not the Blood Sacrifice, the, um, the Path of the Miner is something we can work on as, as we go through the game, as long as we're consistent about taking it down the ore behind the villages. So I'm looking at my skill tree and I have a point to spend. Huh? And I was debating on spending it on the adding five electrical damage, and it looks like it's just a passive that I don't have to use. Is that correct? Yes. And is it, that worth it? Yes. So I will explain for everybody. Uh, anything that is a diamond goes in your blessing slot, which is a passive. Now I will say that this is actually bugged. Uh, in the current version of the game, this only applies to melee attacks. It does not apply to ranged or thrown weapons. I, I make a point of this because there's also another one called vampiric attack that says melee attacks will restore health, but that also applies to bows and thrown weapon. So, so, so it's this, that, so like you can throw your hammer and get, get health back. So I wouldn't throw your hammer in this game. You, no. you, you have trouble, you'd have trouble getting it back. It's not hammer time. Um, so do you recommend doing that then? Five, is five that much? Really? I would go ahead and get the leech myself. That's what I would suggest. Leech, okay. Yeah, the life leech. Let me look at that. Oh, the vampiric attack, so that's in Hell's Tree, but I, I still can do that. Yep, yep. You, you don't, like, it's not like turning your back on Thor or anything. Okay, he's not gonna get jealous? He might, but... It's his sister, isn't it? I don't remember. Probably not. I thought they were related, okay. They, may, they, they, they are probably related. But I, 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 well, I have done a lot of readings on Viking mythology. That was a long time ago. But I have played a lot of games on Viking, so... My character, Arn the Grim, is named after the hero or player from Ar uh, from Hammer of the Gods, which is great strategy game, because it, it really leverages the whole Viking uh, culture. Alright, so let's go ahead and head towards the quest objective. 
When we get out of town, I'm going to go ahead and restart the recording. Basically, whenever I leave town, I'm going to go ahead and stop for a second and restart the recording. So that way, if there's a problem having entered the town on my recording, it will hopefully not have show up in the next section. Now, I've officially left the town. It's lagging real bad for me. I assume that's good enough, so I'm going to go ahead and restart. Something just shot fire at me. Uh, it might be a dwarf. Could be an eye, though. Yeah, it's, it's dwarves we want to kill, because we want dwarf blood. Oh. You're fire- well, you're not fire resistant yet. No, I am definitely not. You only get a little bit of fire resistance as you level. So, you, you don't become immune. There's one over here, I got it. I'm in on fact, fire. In fact, being a heathen is probably better for being coming immune to fire, because you can get the- the resistance to all elements. Blessing. That's pretty huge. The more strength you have, the more you can fall. Oh, I will fall really far then. Every strength you have, and I don't know how much of a unit of measurement this is, but every point of strength you have is like a 50 fall distance. I don't know what it's rated in, however. There's a fire there, just so you know. Uh, hell. Oh, there's a traveler in trouble. I was trying to make me interact with the person. Okay. I assume it's also F to revive you. Yeah. Alright, let's head back. Hopefully we can get the loot. I'd be sad if the loot isn't there. I think we may have gotten jumped by two bosses at the same time, which is uh, explains it. So I've noticed a lot of times when you fight bosses uh, consecutively, they don't always drop stuff. Very stingy about that. Brave traveler. We beseech thee, might you help a couple of weary, desperate old folk of the earth? Those bandits, they took everything before you saved us. Could you find it in your kind heart to rebuild our home for us? We have nowhere else to go. I'm trying to pick up the mushroom here, but I'm building their house instead. Might you find the bandits who did this and discipline them? Nothing too serious. Just a stern talking to you. Really gonna Why drop a tree on them? Do it again. I wow! Them exactly, but be you just fixed their you house? Look like the you look like you're up to the task. You Didn't you just kill her? So <laughs> we'll, wait here. we'll wait here. Forever. Well, they'll be back by the time- they'll be respawned by the time we, we come what back. What is that? Gross! Where is that bus? It's this way. Okay, well there's- there's people here. You can deal with them. Okay. This one wants to follow you. He likes you. He also likes my niece.
Oh, crows are a good indicator of corpses, which will give you loot. I'm gonna break this place. That's part of our quest. So oh. Finish your job. I just want to. That's fine. You can clown. repair. I'm, I'm gonna break this place. I just didn't want you to repair it when you're like looting. Thank you. Actually, I should loot this chest. There we go. You can help me. <laughs> Swinging at. A rock? I was trying to be helpful. I feel oh, okay. like you're collecting all this stuff. Oh, that's good to collect stuff. Sometimes I do sweep at things as I pass by it. She's back! We are saved. And those vandals? Did you teach them a lesson? You did? The lesson was their painful death? Ah. Blew them all mercilessly. Not exactly what we had intended. I feel quite faint. I do not mean to sound ungrateful, but your solution was uh, somewhat extreme. I suppose these are desperate times. You know you'll cut trees faster with the work axe. Oh yeah. Anything else of interest? Uh, we could try. Hey, right, we'll just head back to town. It's fine. I feel like that should be something. Yeah, these guys respawn, but they're low level. Yeah. And I assume if they're lower level, we get very little XP for them. Yeah. It, it's, 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 it's comparable. Like, we just killed that level 6 guy, we got, we'll say, 6 or 7 XP. I think we killed the level 1 guy, we got like 6 XP. It may scale, but I, 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 I was trying to take note of numbers in one of my earlier playthroughs. Then it got too boring. Draugr always spawn with a purple lightning bolt and climb out of the ground very slowly. Uh, they don't even have to finish spawning before you hit them. Often Draugr will spawn here on your way out of town. That's because you trigger. So there was like a circle next to your life bar? That might be Berserk or That's something. That's what I was wondering, yeah. See if it's time to mine yet. Ready for phase two. Ah, Wolf, back already. 
And Hawkin the Bandit Lord is no longer? Well, that's good news I could use. The village will not soon forget your bravery. Please go talk to Woodcutter Loga. He also has need of your assistance. And Warrior, do not get too friendly with him. Though he aids us in our fight, there is something not quite right about him. The bark snaps like brittle bone. The log splits like a dragon's head. <laughs> oh, sorry, stranger. I did not sense your approach. I was in my own head. I am Logue, woodcarver. Though, in truth, I was a killer of men like yourself. Oh, to feel my axe plunge into something other than wood. Covered in blood, not sawdust. Guts, not wood chips. I tried out to become a soldier, but there was an incident during my training. And Vivica thought it be best I stay close to camp and confine to my work to... Wood. Killer. As I am prohibited from leaving this area, could you please dismember some trees and build us both a workshop and kitchen for our cook, Brinda? She gives me animal carcasses to practice with upon occasion. I like her. My gratitude, Killer! You are welcome in my workshop anytime. I will ensure I am stocked with whetstones to repair your weapons. Only, if you witness my chopping something other than wood, please keep it to yourself. Brenda would like to thank you, killer. She is the beneficiary of this kitchen you just built. Perhaps if she cooks more, I will get more corn. Ta oh, very much for the kitchen, Wanderer. Hope you brought your appetite. I'm Brynja, cook around these parts. Taught myself, it's true. <laughs> My specialty is Brynja Appetite Lizard Stew. Ask anyone. My secret to a great meal is keep the meat flowing. <laughs> Even if the food ain't your best, yeah. no one complains when they're drunk. Senseless as a headless skeleton. Brew it myself, right here. Got a kick like a horse, I tell you. That's on account of all the horse meat I put in the wart. Probably why you don't see too many horses round here, I imagine. I've been running low on meat lately. I'm pretty sure one of those sneaky little meat dwarves has been helping themselves to our supply. A favor, would you? Set a trap for one of them wee thieving bastards up in the forest. If that doesn't work out, just chase him and give him a good kicking till he coughs up some mead. Then bring it back to me. Alright, so yeah, these these are actually part of the main quest. Uh, I guess to get to know the side quests and the people in town. We have to... Where are those green arrows? They are not all you. Like, there's another green arrow in this direction. I don't know what that means. Maybe it's where you died? I don't know. But our quest is not... Yeah, this is our quest. There's a chevron, which indicates you on the compass. Well, I had two also, but now the other one's gone. Let's see if I can 
push the bird off the cliff. Yep, I can. I lost you. Okay. Hello, dwarf. Second, we'll deal with the meat door first. I no longer need the tainted blood for my brother's spirit ritual. As it turns out, it was not his ghost moaning that I heard, it was he. He was still alive after all! I, I took him to a local healer. Travel well, brave warrior. Um, you're probably not going to use this ever. You'll likely find a better item in the meantime, but I'm going to drop this Viking Mace. It's level 21. And if again, if anything you can't use or don't want to use, just salvage it. I'll let you know if it's something you should hold on to. Go ahead and mine those things real quick while I level up. Oh, one rack. Oh, these ones. Yeah, I'm done. Do you need level up? Probably. Go ahead, check it out. You're level, you're level 7. I'm level 8. You're not too far behind me. I'm also on fire. What do you recommend? Let's see here. Um, I'd recommend first filling up all your blessings and bloodlust before getting new skills. So since you're level 8, you have 8 total skills. You should have rank 1 in everything. That's that's what I would get first. Rank 1 of everything in the middle. No, no, just rank 1 of everything. So like, you should not get a rank 2 of a skill until you fill up all your slots. That's what I would recommend. Oh, okay, so I should- I actually will have enough skill points I can do that. I would think that would be scary. Okay, so I'll- Well, you- you can- you'll get 50. You get 50 points and you get- you can always reset skills. For free, all the time. Okay. So, I'm level 8, I have 8 skills strewn across rank 1 skills. So I can use them all at the same time. If they're in your bar. Yeah. So like, 3 blessings won't help, but 2 blessings will. Okay. So until until you get to level nine, I wouldn't worry about a rank two in anything. Okay, so just collect everything. Well, I mean, not everything. Just, there's way more skills than you can equip. Okay. So I guess okay. So you said get level, don't get level two of anything. I have a lot of stuff that I can do though now. Right. Do you, okay. Well, how many how many blessings do you have? Your blessings are the diamonds. I have one. All right. Why don't you get another blessing? Actually, wait a minute. Yes, I have one. Out of the so out of those, I pick one more diamond. Any 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 diamond, yeah, your choice. Okay. Whatever you whatever you feel like you need the most of. How worth it is stone skin? Um, in the beginning, it's pretty. Uh, is that the one that that that, that deflects attacks? Yeah. If you find yourself waiting for the parry, then go ahead and get it. But if you don't wait for parry, then don't worry about it. Get something else. Okay. So maybe I'll get death dealer. That sounds. Fifty resistance to each element. That also sounds good. Yeah, that's why I said the heathen tree is probably best for fire resistance, and as well as all resistances. So it's okay to do that, even though I have the fire. Yeah, go ahead. You, you'll be more resistant to fire, and again, you can always reset your skill later. So if you if you decide that it's not worth it, just reset. You have to pick all your skills again. And in the the recent trend of gaming is to hold a button down all the time. You will have to hold that button down nine times on your ninth level, fifty times on your fiftieth level. It's not good. I don't like that. 
Okay, well, apparently I can't use that until I'm level 10. Also, I never dragged down my other blessing, apparently. I forgot to. Okay. So that's something. But I can't use the strength conviction. No, no, you can use it. If you, if you, if you can buy it, you can use it. You, the next rank is what it says. Oh. Next rank is level 10. Okay, so I have two of those on. Okay. I understand that. I, I see five now. skills in your stuff. So do you have a rank two somewhere? or do you, Oh, you have more skill point. Okay, so go ahead and get yourself another active skill. I wish I could record on your screen so I could show the audience what you're looking at. Yeah. Okay, so I get bloodlust more often, don't I? Isn't that a Thor thing? That's that, that, uh, I mean, kind of. You, bloodlust is your, what we call Berserker Rage or Fury, so whenever you go into that, it's, it's all those bonuses. Okay, so I get the Berserker ability gives me 10% more critical chance while I'm bloodlust, and since I get bloodlust more easily, that seems logical, right? As a thing to invest in? Yeah, if you want. Okay. Okay, I'll try the hammer throw, though I'm probably gonna not do too well with that. If you're locked on to target, you shouldn't miss. If you don't if you don't lock on, then don't worry about it, but you can always aim manually. Just get used to it. Okay. Alright. Thank you. Where are you? I'm in town, I'm looking at armor. Because we did die not too long ago. I mean, w w then that was when we were like level 6. I can make level 4 armor. What does it cost me? I don't like that it costs leather scrap. It's harder to get than ore. Racers. So this is for defense. I it doesn't tell you all the information either. Helmet. For defense. For defense. Thank you very much for watching Trans Win Rune 2. We'll see you next time. See you next time.